I look at it, uh, I look at from a two different angles. So one is I'm a product head, on the other hand I'm also the chairman of ISO 20020 for payments uh, globally. Um, so from a business point of view I see it as a value add to customers, that's one. So the information we can share with customers and incoming payments for example is much better. There is the benefit of uh, our, our own operational efficiencies becoming stronger because we get more information and we can process that much more easily, we don't have to repair manually. Last one is on the security point of view. We get much better, richer, structured information, so we can be much more efficient in our security screening for customers, and that will allow us to be, give better service to clients and in the end to be more secure and robust as a bank. So there, there are many things to be done in this project. It's quite a comprehensive one and as much as it has value, it's going to have some pain first. Uh, first of all, we're going to have to make sure all the back-end systems are aligned to, with the new ISO 20022 format. They're all developed historically for Swift MT normally, so you have to upgrade that. Um, that's a big change that inv uh, involves many different functions. Secondly, there is the part to the customer. So one is the, the, the real the being compliant with the Swift standard. The other one is how do you extend that new standard to the customers and make them benefit. That's more of a front office job, more the work I do on a daily basis and we have to have the right projects and the right innovations to make our customers very happy with the new service. I think there's a few things to be done. So one is we need more people to be aware and familiar with ISO 20022. I think training is very important there. I think User groups help a lot, so people share with each other and that's facilitated by SWIFT to bring everyone together and it helps us to make sure the standard is appropriate to Asia through feedback. It helps us to make sure people know each other so they know who to reach out to. It helps that people become more involved and more motivated to work on this. All these kind of things will come together and in the end it should help us to make sure we have a good standard for cross-border payments in Asia as well.